Hello and welcome to the lecture on MOSFET drain current and IV characteristics. So here we can see an uh, internal MOSFET with P substrate uh, and uh, we can see here uh, gate source voltage VTS and VDS are applied to the device as shown in this figure. We have gate and uh, channel. Uh, this is the channel uh, in between the gate and channel we have silicon dioxide which is insulated. So as this as there is a dielectric material between gate, a metal gate and the channel, it acts like a capacitor. So the voltage of the channel that is uh, uh, at at a point is so the voltage across this channel, the voltage at different points is different. So here uh, this is along x. So here we have considered it is zero, the beginning of the channel, and at the end. It is uh, X L effective. So X is varying from 0 to L effective. The voltage at each point is different. And uh, how much it is uh, the voltage across the capacitor, the voltage, uh, let us assume that at a point, it is V of X as it is a function of this position X. So voltage across the capacitor, that will be is equal to gate source voltage at gate minus V of X. Now the charge density of the channel, Q channel is equal to CV. So here uh, uh, C is equal to C ox into WL effective. I will share the description of the video which uh, uh, determines this uh, derivation that is how much is the capacitance. Uh, we have discussed in another lecture. I will share the link of that video. So C times V, C is C ox into WL effective into VGS minus PTH is also coming because PTH is uh, is the voltage required for creating the channel. So we have to subtract VTH as well and as usual minus V of X. So this is the Q uh, channel density, the density of the charge density of the channel. Uh, now so so drift velocity of uh, uh, so drift velocity of the channel so drift velocity of electrons in the channel that is vd is equal to mobility times electric field now uh, electric field we know that e is equal to minus d by dx of v of x as the electric field is uh, not constant it's variable as v of x is also variable uh, so it is minus dv of x by dx then vd will be minus uh, mu times dv of x by dx and negative sign as here uh, so now in a length of vd meters if we take a length of vd meters the total charge density in that length of VD meters will be is equal to VD times Q charge density because it is a, a linear charge density or line charge density. So it is multiplied by the length VD. So that will give us to this ex expression, which is nothing but the amount of charge present in VD meters. Now the charges move VD meters in one second. So drift velocity is nothing but, the meaning of drift velocity is nothing but, uh, the charges will move VD meters in one second, that is meters per second. So the total charge moving through a point in one second, if you take a point at the channel and see how much charge is moving through it, uh, that will be, that will be, uh, is nothing but, this VD times of C ox W and this one VD times of Q channel density. So now when we substitute for uh, VD expression here minus mu dV of x by dx, then we end up with this mu dV of x by dx W C ox into VGS minus VTS minus V of x. So this is a drain current. So the charges moving through a point in one second, that is nothing but current. Uh, the 
the current uh, the charge is moving total charge is moving through a point in one second that is nothing but the current so you have been caught ex expression for drain current uh, by working in that way now uh, so this this drain current it is at a particular point now when we integrate we get the total current so as the channel length is l effective we have to do from 0 to l effective and this uh, voltage values we have to see from here like from where to where v of x is varying so here uh, here v of x is varying from 0 to l effective so at this point the voltage is 0 because see this uh, ground is connected to here and here there is 0 volt and at this point where length channel length is L effective this connected to VDS so the voltage value is VDS now we are varying from 0 to VDS and uh, VGS minus VDS minus V of X into DX so by solving this we get ID into L effective mu WC ox uh, then VGS minus VTH here uh, V of X will come and minus V of X whole square by 2 0 to VDS uh, which we will substitute here then we end up getting ID expression so this is a drain current expression that we got now uh, so this is applicable when uh, VGS should be greater than VTH the first condition because uh, then only the channel will be created then only current will flow and uh, so everything uh, comes into play only when VG is greater than VTS. So this is the, this condition is, uh, should be there. And uh, VDS less than VGS minus VTS. So the drain to source voltage must be less than VGS minus VTS. We will see what will happen when VDS is greater than VGS minus VTS. Now from this drain current, uh, uh, we can make conclusions. So when VGS is constant, so certainly we are going to apply constant gate to source voltage and VDS is less than VGS minus VTH, then VGS minus VTH into VDS. This will be greater than, uh, very much greater than VDS square by 2. So uh, as VDS is very, very less, then this will be more. Now in this case, uh, VDS square can be, VDS square by 2 can be neglected because it is very small. So in the current expression, when this is uh, VGS minus VTH is very large compared to VDS, then this term will, we can neglect, it will be negligible. So we will get uh, mu WC ox L F to VGS minus VTH into VDS. So here uh, these are all constants and um, as you can see ID is directly proportional to VDS. So hence uh, the relationship will be linear. So at smaller values of VDS, the, the IV curve will, will be linear. And uh, when VDS is significantly large, then this quantity will be positive. And uh, this, this, is a, uh, this is becomes a curve parabolic as you can see. The ID is equal to, uh, so this one is a parabolic curve. So when VDS becomes significantly large, then the curve becomes parabolic. Now, thirdly, as VDS increases, ID also increases and it reaches a maximum value. So the VDS at ID max will be, so in order to find the maximum value of ID max, we have to differentiate it with respect to VDS. So DID by DVDS uh, should be equal to zero. When we differentiate this uh, current equation, uh, with respect to VDS, this will become constant minus VDS. So, uh, so then when we equate it to zero, then VDS will be equal to VGS minus VTH. So, at this voltage of VDS, we get maximum ID current. Now, substituting this uh, in ID, that is VDS is equal to VGS minus VTH here, we are going to get ID max in this way. and uh, there is no and it is independent of vds so for a mosfet the maximum current it will deliver is independent of 
of the trade to source voltage that you apply but it depends on a gate to source voltage and threshold voltage and the, these parameters as well so now id max is independent of vds now in the fourth condition as as i mentioned earlier if vds is greater than vgs minus vth then certainly it has to be greater than zero so voltage across the mass capacitor uh, vgs minus vth minus v of x uh, so v of x is vds means at x equal to l effective uh, at the end of channel length it is vds so the voltage will be negative and the channel pinches off so the drain current remains constant with the further increase in drain to source voltage so what happens is that uh, here uh, here the voltage uh, vds when it is greater than vgs minus vth this voltage across this capacitor will be negative and the channel will uh, channel won't exist here so it will move and it will end here itself that is uh, uh, channel gets pinches off so because of that the drain current remains uh, constant thereafter so it cannot increase uh, beyond that uh, voltage so based on these conclusions you can see the vi characteristics initially it is linear when vds is uh, small and as the vds becomes significantly large it became parabolic and after vgs minus vth it stayed constant so here after the channel pinches off and uh, the current tends to be constant so you can draw a constant line and here it is parabolic and and so forth so at vgs minus vth uh, voltage the current is maximum id max so this is how we are we have derived the expression for uh, drain current that is uh, based by using the charge density and uh, drift velocity and then integrating from uh, the integrating along the channel length from zero to l effective as well as from the voltage from zero to vds uh, and we got these characteristics so thanks for watching this video please subscribe my channel to get more videos